Hi there. Whenever you see one of these in the kitchen, don't throw them away. You can make a lot of fun stuff with them. Hey, Box, check out this cute little drink carton. Do you think it's possible to make it into a cute uh, puppet? Oh, absolutely. Those cartons are magical. Mm, thanks for the confidence. But first, let's make a work drawing. Picture a carton, folded in half like this to make a mouth in the middle. Then we need a couple of eyes, two teeth, a tongue, nose, beard, loads of spots, and we've got a hand puppet. We start by cutting the box in half. I'm using a ruler to draw a straight line with a marker pen across three sides of the carton. Leave the last side out. This is how the lines should look. Then you're ready to cut. Cut! With a bit of help from a grown-up, cut along the line and fold the carton in half. Now you can stick your hand inside the carton to make it talk. See? One half sticks out further than the other. We've made both upper and lower jaws. And we can use it either way around. Then we draw and cut out the teeth, eyes and ears. Get some paper and draw two eyes with a pencil. Make two simple shapes with round eyes in the middle. Next, draw two teeth. Pointy tongue. Now you can choose which details you want to stand out. For this, use a thick marker pen. Here are all the parts, cut out with the scissors and ready to go. I think our puppet should also have a long white beard. This is simple. Get a bit of paper like this and cut out loads of strips along one side. Don't cut all the way up, otherwise the beer will fall to pieces. Now, get some paint Paint the tongue bright green. You can also use colored pencils or simply cut the tongue from a piece of colored paper. Time to glue the parts onto the carton. First, use a ruler to make some good straight glue flaps. We need these to help us glue. First the eyes and then the teeth. Squeeze on a dab of paper glue. Spread the glue out a bit. Then place the eyes on top of the carton. of the upper jaw. Just like a pair of rabbit teeth. Now leave your puppet alone for a bit while the glue dries. 
<laughs> Isn't it great? Paint! We start by painting the inside of the mouth red. When you paint an object like this with many sides, it's a good idea to paint one bit at a time and let it dry in between. This means that you spill less and the colors won't mix together quite so much. I've mixed up a dark red, which I'm using to paint the outside. It's a nice contrast with the brighter red inside the mouth. When it's dry, it looks like this. Check out the lovely white teeth and eyes in contrast to the darker red color. Ooh, she is looking good! Now it's time to glue on the tongue. A little dab of glue on the end, then press it down at the back of the mouth. Now for the beard. If you like, you could color in the strips. But I think it looks just fine in white. Measure the sides and make some folds so the beard fits perfectly onto the square chin. Spread some glue along the edge. starts to dry. Next, mix a bright yellow and paint some dots around the outside of the hand puppet. A pattern with dots and stripes is really great and it makes everything look more fun. It's good when the dots contrast against the background color. They'll stand out bold and clear. Now our hand puppet is finished. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 Finally, someone intelligent to talk to. Let's see it one more time. First, draw a line around three sides of the carton. Then cut and fold it in half. Next, make the parts you need. ready for paint. First a bright red inside the mouth, then a darker red on the outside. Glue on the tongue and the beard. Finally, paint on some bright yellow dots. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> you can also turn your hand puppet into a puppet theater. Draw a window with curtains on one side of a box. Cut out a hole in the middle. Cut another big hole in the back so hand puppets can get inside. Decorate it however you want. And play theater. Okay, box. Do you have any more ideas for us? Yeah, Oystein. You can use the same method to make other puppets, such as this crazy ball guy. <laughs> he 
looks like you. This scary vampire. Or this gorgeous bearded lady. She looks like my auntie. Sorted. Simple. Hey you! Yeah, you! I just want to say thank you so much my friend for watching my channel, watching my videos. Uh, it's because of you that I am able to exist. 